Hello and welcome. This is sets video number 17 and today we are going to learn how do we solve problems involving sets particularly subsets, power sets and intervals as sets. So what kind of questions are we looking to solve? So the questions will be something like this. Write all subsets of a given set. Write all subsets of a set which is phi or empty set. Then how many elements does P of A has if A is a, a given set? Write P A for A equals this set. Write all, write the following as interval. So we have been given a set here, which is given in a set builder form. We have to find out, write the following as intervals. And finally, here we have been given an interval. And we have to write this in a set builder form. So let's find out how do we actually solve these types of questions. Now, as always, if you want to follow along, please go ahead and go to www.risingpearl.com. From the top menu, go to class 11 math and select sets, problem sets from the drop down. It will show you a list of all problem sets on the topic sets and then click on problem set number four or you can directly open your browser and paste this URL. I'm also going to provide the URL of the problem set in the top right corner of this video and also at the bottom of this video in the description box. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how to solve these types of questions. Write all subsets of the set. So the set has three elements, W, I, N. Now we know that subsets are sets that contain elements that are also present in this set, right? So when we are trying to find out subset of this set, that means our subsets will contain element and all those elements must be here. We know that phi or empty set or null set is a subset of every set. So this is the first subset. Then we can write the subset as a set that contains only W, W is here. Similarly, we can write a set that contains I and we can write a set that contains N. So these are examples of singleton sets, sets with one element. Now we can also write a set that contains two of the elements. So we can write a set that has W and I. This set is also a subset of this. Similarly, we can write I comma n and we can write so we have written w i i n we can write w n w n and don't forget this also is a subset of the original set so how many subsets did, did we get one two three four five six seven eight so there are eight subsets of this given set Let's take a look at our next question. Write all subsets of the set 1, 2, 3, 4. So it will be exactly the same as the last one that we did. So let's first write the, let's first write phi, which is the null set, and then write all the singleton sets. So a set that contains the number 1, a set that contains the number 2, a set that contains number 3, and a set that contains number 4. So these are subsets of this given set. Now let's write sets that contain two of the four elements. So we can write one comma two. We can write two comma three. We can write three comma four. So we have written one, two, two, three, three, four. Now one and three it can be one and three. It can be one and four. And 2 and 4 is already, did we write 2 and 4? No, we have to write 2 and 4 as well. So we can also get 2 and 4. And then 3 and 4 is already written. So 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 1, 3, 1, 4, and 2, 4. So we have written all the possible subsets that can be there that has two elements. Now let's write subsets that contain three of the four elements. So we can write a set like this. 
that has 1, 2, 3. So this will be a subset. Similarly, we can write 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4. And now we can write 4, 1, 2. 4, 1, 2. And is there any other set that a subset we can write that has three elements? So we did 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 1, 3, 4. Did we do 1, 3, 4? We did not do 1, 3, 4. So we can actually write 1, 3, 4. And we did 4, 1, 2. So we have gotten these four sets. And don't forget again, the set that contains four elements, one, two, three, and four. This is also a subset. So how many subsets did we get now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. So there are sixteen subsets of this given set. Let's move on to our next question. Write all subsets of the set phi or null set or void set. So the answer to this question is tricky. The answer to this question is phi. Even though this set is a null set or an empty set, basically phi is equal to this. It's an empty set with no elements. But phi itself is a subset of every given set, even if the set is phi. So phi is a subset of phi itself. All right, so now let's find out what is P of A for A equal to this? Now, what is P of A? Now, you must remember P of A simply means power set. What is power set? We have studied before. I'm going to provide the URL in the top right corner of this video as well and at the bottom in the description box below. Power set is nothing but a set that contains all possible subsets. So, WIN, this is our given set. This is A. So first we have to write all possible subsets of A. We have just now done this before. So phi will be a subset W I N then W I I N W, N, this is W, N, and W, I, N. Now, these are all possible subsets of the given set A. So, P of A, which is also known as power set of A, will be actually a set. So, we have to put a set that contains all the subsets as its elements. So this set, the outside set, will be known as the power set of A. So power set of A will be equal to the set that contains all possible subsets of A. Also, remember there is a formula to find out the number of subsets which are possible for any given set. So in this case, the set has three elements. If you were to write number of elements for the set A, how much is that? So there are three elements, one, two, and three. So this is three. Then the number of elements of power set A. In other words, this simply means how many possible subsets are there it will be 2 to the power 3. So the number of elements of the set, it will be 2 raised to the number of elements of that set, which will be 8. And when we count it, we said 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now this formula, it does not tell us what the subsets themselves are. It gives us the count of how many subsets are possible. So let's take a look at the next question. Now here, how many elements does P of A contain if A is given as follows? So we are not looking to write 
PA. Because writing PA will mean that we have to write a set that contains all of the subsets. Instead, we have to find out how many elements are in PA. So let's first find out here A is given in a set builder form. So let's first convert this into roster or tabular form. So A, let's write A here. So A is equal to A is A contains element X, but X is 2N. So let's write it over here. So X equals 2N. And what is N? N belongs to natural numbers. So N belongs to natural numbers. And it is also given that the value of n is greater than or equal to 5, but it is less than 10. So this is what we have for a. Now what are natural numbers? Natural numbers are numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth. So how many natural numbers are in this range? So in this range, we can have n equal to it is less, it is greater than or equal to 5, so we have to include 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. It is less than 10. So these are possible values of n. So what will a look like then? So a will be 2 times n. So when a, n is 5, x will be equal to 2 times 5, which will be 10. When n is 6, this one will be 2 times 6, which will be 12. Then it will be 14. Then it will be 16. It will be then 18. So A is this set. And now, how many elements are in A? Number of elements in the set A, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 elements in A. Therefore, the number of elements in power set of A, it will be given by 2 to the power R, where R is the number of elements in A. So in this case, it will be 2 to the power 5. And this will be simply 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which will be 32. So there will be 32 elements in the power set A, which also means that there are 32 possible subsets of this given set. Now let's take a look at few more questions. How do we write the following as interval? Here the set is x, where x belongs to real numbers, and x is greater than or equal to minus 9, but it is less than minus 2. So here, if we were to visualize a number line, and if we were to put these points, minus 9, let's say we have minus 9 somewhere here, and we have minus 2 somewhere over here. x is greater than, equal to minus 9. That means x can actually be this value, right? And it will be in this range over here, but it cannot be equal to this. So this is an open interval. X is an open interval where X includes minus 9, but it does not include minus 2. And how do we write it? We write it like this. So open interval where the value is included. We write that with a square bracket. So we say minus 9 comma, and then we say minus 2, which is other endpoint. Do we write a square bracket? No, we write a square bracket if the endpoint is included. Here, we don't have the equal to sign, so minus 2 is not included, and then the way we write it is we just put a regular parenthesis, regular bracket. So this is the answer. This is how we represent this set in uh, or as an interval. So similarly, what about this over here? So here we see that it is the same two endpoints minus 9 and minus 2. But this time, x is greater than minus 9. So x does not equal to minus 9. So here we will have to write, so we write the two endpoints minus 2, minus 9 and minus 2. Now here this 
x is not equal to minus 9. Minus 9 is not included. So we do a regular bracket or parenthesis. Minus 2 is included. So this we put a square bracket like this. Now let's take a look at these final four questions. If you are enjoying these videos, definitely subscribe to the channel and check out the risingpearl.com website and please try out these problem sets. So let's find out minus, so the question number eight is write the following interval and set builder form. So here minus six is included because we have a square bracket and seven is not. So we can write this set as, so this is actually open interval where minus six is included, but seven is excluded. So we say this contains x, where x belongs to real numbers, and minus 6 less than equal to x, which is less than 7. For question number 9, here it is again an open interval. Minus 6 is not included, but 7 is included. So we write this as in set builder form as it contains element x where x belongs to real numbers and minus 6 is not included. So minus 6 is less than x which is less than equal to 7 because 7 is included because of the square bracket. How about question number 10? Here both are regular bracket or parenthesis that means it is a open interval with both minus six and seven not included. So we will simply write, it contains x, where x belongs to real numbers, and minus six less than x less than seven. And finally, question number 11. Here, this is a closed interval. Both minus six and seven are included in the possible values of x. So it contains x where x belongs to real numbers and minus 6 is less than equal to x which is less than equal to 7. So if you have enjoyed these videos please subscribe to the channel and go to risingpearl.com and from there go to class 11 math and then sets problem sets and select problem set number 4 to practice on these types of questions.